Hey there everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve. So we have progressed through the summer season a little bit here. We have actually, we're trimming some trees and we ran into some problems. I think we're gonna grab this tentacle spike. We need to actually kill these things. Oh, we actually need the guys to go with us, don't we? We totally do. It is summertime, we gotta be watching our heat levels. We do have a little bit of foods. We're gonna go ahead and eat that thing right there. We got a thermal stone, we'll put that on us. Why the heck not? Uh, do we have any meats besides these? It doesn't look like we do. Kinda sucks, cause we got one of these trees we need to handle. I guess we could use these meats that are just sitting around. Oh! We need to take this tree down, I think, is what we need. So, we'll get you. And we'll get you. And can we give the love to this tree over here? Come on, attack it. Do we need the stupid... Yeah, so you go smash that. Oh, it's like, I think we need the stupid... Oh, we, do we need the axe? Oh, he went away. Strange. All right, all right. But another thing that we also need to do is we need to appease the antlion because I have not dealt with him yet. We're gonna go ahead and load this puppy up a little bit. Keep that guy running, safe and base area. Let's go ahead and top off our little bit of wood. We do have a couple items that we can feed to him. Is there anything else around here? We do have rocks as well. And basically there's like different items that you can give to this antlion that will appease him so he won't actually attack. We're not really in the place to be attacking him yet. What about this paper? No, I don't think that's a thing. Do we have anything else? Didn't we have like a potato cup or something? What happened to that thing? Did I feed to the stupid pig king? I feel like I might have. Feel like I might have. Oh yeah, we got our farms over there. We want those protected though. Those end up might burn and oh, they might end up burning down because we don't have the things in order. Man, it's like I need another ice fling matic over there to save that crap, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and maybe head on out. Yeah. It's gonna be night soon, but we need to actually uncover some more of this map, which will be up in this up in the this early direction, and we need to see what's over here. We got that means we have to run past the bees, which might be a little pain in the butt. But it'll be what it is, I'll tell you that. Uh, we're gonna grab a couple flowers on the way up just so we can eat them for a tiny bit of health to recover that crap. Come on, pigs, let's roll! Are we going the right way? We're totally going the wrong way. And it's going to be night soon, so that's not the greatest thing in the world either. So we might just have to plop down an endothermic fire pit if need be. Our temperature is actually pretty good right now. Grab up a little food on the way, I guess. What the hey? Because we are WX and he can eat a bunch of crap and he's just fine. Come on, pigs! Oh, we're going to lose the pigs. There's another pig. Oh, should we grab this? What the hell? Come on! Oh, it's like I always just want gears. I want gears. That's all I really want. All right, we got a little bit of time. Are we gonna be able to get through this bee madness without getting stung? Ugh. It's not looking great. We might have to go down on the far side. We actually need to come and get bees too. We really do because we need to get our honey situation in order. Let's try to cut up through here. All right, we're going for it. Oh, come on, run, 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 man. No killer bees. We don't like them. We never did. All right, we just need need to get away. If we can get away from the bees here, we can plop down a little endothermic fire pit for the night. Hopefully we can find our new desert area. I'm assuming it's up here to the north somewhere. Uh, we could grab a little green mushroom in case things get a little hairy. We need some sanity. We're all right right now. We got a little bit more time. Let's actually explore as much as we can before it gets dark. Uh, looks like we got some more bee stuff up here. Grab a little bit of sanity. Don't really need it too much. So if you look at our map, you can kind of see over here, and it looks like this might be the desert. So we're going to keep on heading this way because I think this is where it's going to be. We need to find where the antlion is so we can be like, here, man, take it easy, bro. All right, so it's going to be night. Let's go ahead and plop down one of these. So to keep us cool, we'll throw a couple logs on there. I should have brought some nets, because figuring I was going by the bees, I could have actually captured a bunch of bees, and we could have got our honey back in order. That'll be something that's definitely on the list. We can't actually cook a green cap on this thing, which is too freaking bad. We can actually add this to the fire. Maybe these two. 
Keep us real cool like. All right, we'll put our walking stick on because I think we're just going to find the ant line and we're just going to feed him some cut stones, a gourd's nut, maybe a couple regular rocks. And that will appease him at least for a couple days. Um, I, I've never actually been in a situation where I've had to fight this thing or what it does when it actually attacks because I know it makes like sinkholes and if you actually try to fight it. Oh, well, we're actually getting cold by this thing. That's good though. We want to lower our temperature all the way for uh, the next day. So this will be our first encounter with the antlion. Hopefully it goes well because I don't really know <laughs> what I need to be doing around him. I know when he, when you like fight him, he like locks you around in sandcastles and then damages you and blah blah. And we don't have a whole bunch of protection on us, so we're not in the mode to fight him yet. Hopefully we can hold him off for quite a long time. I think this. The things that we have right now will give us about four days, five, six days. I think you can only appease them for like six days. So how many days we got left? We got 12. This is actually perfect because if we can appease them now and then we can appease them with six days left, we should be just fine for summer and we just got to actually, you know, survive the heat and whatnot, but that's fine because we got our umbrella, we got our thermal stone, we got things like that. And this should be staying cool with me by the thing. It's going to be a brand new day. Let's go find the ant lion. It actually might be all windy dusty and dirty up in here so we're gonna see what's up with the storms the sandstorms and whatnot if that comes into effect right away here and it looks like it does so we oh this is not good we need to try to find where the antlion is and we're not gonna be able to see nothing and we can't run oh this is bad business I wonder if we'd be able to see him on the map. Probably not. Oh, it looks like we got our pig back. So is he going to hurt us if he does see us? That's a thing we don't know. Oh, it looks like we got a cactus. Oh, we got different kinds of cactuses here. That's kind of cool. I wonder if the, the storm's always like this in this desert. I think it might always be during the summer. So it's like, I have no idea how we're going to find this guy, but we really need to. Hopefully he's on the map, because if he's not, I don't know what we're going to do. We have like no visibility here. Oh, what is this? Is this a path? Oh, this is like, huh. Got marble trees and junk? Oh, it looks like it's just a set piece of some sort. Is this like a path that goes somewhere? It, it doesn't look like it. So where is you, Mr. Antlion? Good lord, this is gonna be bad. I'm not liking this. We really need to find a pair of desert goggles. We should go fishing. I think we need to go fishing in the ponds here or something. That might be a thing. Oh, there he is. All right, he is on the map. All right, he's gonna be right over here. We're gonna give him something right away. Here. Take this. Don't hurt me? Okay, what is this? Desert stone, all right, so that'll give us, that'll give us a day. This'll give us another day. So it's like, we should probably just feed him, what, five of these, six of these rocks. So we're gonna go ahead and refine two more. Oh God, man, this is like a crazy situation. All right, so you're all good. One more, there you go. So I think that guy will be good. He's not gonna attack us. We're not gonna have to deal with him. Uh, we did get a little bit of desert stone out of the deal. I don't know what the deal is with that. We're gonna kind of walk around the desert a little bit here. We're gonna try to find like uh, if there's any watering holes here, because if there is, we're gonna come back and fish those to try to get some desert goggles. I believe that's the way you find them. If I am wrong, go ahead and correct me. But yeah, it looks like we just got some exploring to do here. We're just gonna kind of go left or around the edge over here, and then we're gonna come back down. I don't know if this is the last biome that we have not been to in our world or not. I'm pretty sure that it is. God, this desert sucks. It's like when you have the desert goggles, you can see much, much more. We're not going to pick that stupid thing because we don't want a qualifant or... Should we pick one of these? I feel like we should pick one of these. Yeah, we get the cactus flowers. Maybe we'll pick some of these on the way out. We do need to get more food. 
for sure I should have brought a little something with us. We don't see any ponds as of yet. I feel like we should go a little bit more to the left. Man, this desert storm crap is ridiculous. Still nothing. Maybe a cactus or two is all we see. There's a cactus. We're taking damage, but we'll easily get that back. Health is not a problem right now. I'm not seeing any of the pools, though. That kind of sucks. We're going to have to keep our hat situation in order, too. These football helmets are very important right now. As far as protection goes. Alright, so we're coming back to the other biome once again. What is these things? What is that? Is that a sticky tree? I can't tell. Oh, it let us, like, run for a second there. Is that we're close? Is it because we're close to out of the biome? Oh, here's like a fishing little hole over here. So it's like I wonder if. Yeah, it's the lake. What are these? Succulents? Can we pick any of this? Is that good? Is that good for us? I think it might be. Oh, we got a little. Oh, we got a fishing rod. Let's go ahead and do some fishing. Hopefully, we can catch something decent in here. Oh yeah, we don't have our. Ah, no, we need to endothermic fire pit like a mother, like a mother trucker. Oh, can we not do it anywhere around here? Dang it. No, come on, come on, what are you doing? All right, so we got that guy blazed, blazing. So it looks like there's like a little bit of oh, wait, an oasis in here. All right, we're close enough to the endothermic fire pit where we're good with our hat on. We should actually put our umbrella on. Do we keep fishing? It looks like we do. So we're going to go ahead and fish right here. We're going to see if we can get any blueprints. If we can end up, like, getting the desert goggles or something, we'd be good to go. Do I need to, like, reel it in or anything? I don't know how the fishing goes. I know it just did it by itself before, but it might be different and don't starve together. Do I need to reel it in when he starts getting a bite, or what's the deal? Come on, get some, bro! Dang it! <laughs> or does it just take time? We haven't taken any durability on our fishing pole. I'm gonna try right-clicking this time, I guess. See, what am I supposed to what am I supposed to do when that happens? Stop fishing. No, we want to fish. Even catching a fish would be good, because we're low on food here. No, it's like we gotta figure out what to do. What button to press right then? Alright, so we're gonna stay here just throughout the night. I guess I'll fish one more time, see if I actually get anything. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing to reel in. Hmm. Maybe I'm just getting bites and eventually I do catch something. We haven't used any durability on the fishing rod, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, we're just going to cool down right here. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to have to come back and do the fishing, which is not a problem. We're going to have to come back in a couple days anyway to appease the ant lion. We're just going to make sure we're real cool here. We're going to make a jet for home. We should actually cook these... Uh, we still have time, and we got food in the fridge. I don't know what's up with the succulents either. Oh, we can add that as fuel, apparently. We're going to go ahead and slap on our walking stick. We're going to go back home. I need to look up how to do the fishing junk. We'll actually come back next episode. We'll do something with that. And we'll try to probably get some honey as well, since that is on the way. Uh, we are super hungry. It is the end of night. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Come on, get out of the desert, man. All right, so there's like a little oasis in there where we fish at. So that's kind of cool. We actually did lose a little bit of sanity. We're going to go ahead and pick some flowers on the way home just to top that guy off. And plus we'll get our health back that we started to lose when we started to get too hot. All right, so we're pretty good on that. We got to make sure we're in the goods here. We're going to go home. We're definitely going to get... Figure out how to fish. We're going to... What else do we need to do? We need to make a bunch of nets. I Hopefully, hopefully we have enough spider 
webs and stuff because that's something we're probably pretty low on and we need those to make the nets. I don't know if I have any nets left or what. I think we wasted them when we caught the bees last time, but Deer Claps ended up killing those sons of guns. We do have autumn season coming next, which is a pretty dang good season. As far as things go, let's go ahead and run through here. Try not to get stung. Oh god, we're aggroing all the stupid stupid bees. We're gonna aggro so many when we... Oh boy. Alright, this is not good. Circle back around, bro. Cut through? No. All right, we need to get over here. Run, you son of a gun. Run, you son of a gun. All right, we good? Are we in the goods? No, we're not yet. All right, so we know we can get through on the left side over there pretty easily, unless I'm being dumb and egg roll the stuffs when I don't want to, but we are super short on health here. Can we eat this for a little bit of food? No, that's just health. We could eat these cactuses if it comes down to it. We should be able to get home and grab some food here. We got plenty of health though, we're alright, we're alright. Our temperature is still doing fine, we should probably throw a thermal stone into the fridge here. We still got our little tooth trap kicking ass over there, and that's what I'm talking about. Are we home? Alright, we're home. Let's put you in the fridge. I hope, oh man. Kinda worried about our stupid grass farm situation over here. Everything looked, man, it looks really red. Oh, well, oh, we're taking heat damage. Really? Oh no, it's the food damage, I'm an idiot. Where are ya? There you go, cooked frog legs all day. We'll eat a ton of them, because we have to. I guess we'll eat these. They're just gonna sit around and go bad if we don't. We do have stuff. We should probably actually cook these meats, because they are going bad. We need to start off a little fire over yonder. So let's get that guy a roast in. Let's cook these meats so at least they stay good for a little bit longer. We should make these into honey ham. Or no, we can't. We can make meatballs out of them, though. Did you try to eat that? Get out of there. We can also cook those cactuses. We don't need any pierogi type situation yet, so we're good on that. Let's cook these. Wow, those flowers go bad really fast. Are these a thing we could cook? No. We can just eat them? Yeah, okay. So back to the fridge. We're gonna stash that crap. We do have our desert stone. We'll go ahead and stick that in the chest or something or other. We got our little bedroll. We'll keep on keep that on us for a little bit of sleepage. We do need to put that meat in the fridge because that crap is gonna go bad. And uh, well, let's top off the logs while we are at it. So... That is that. I think we might have to call it here for this episode. I need to figure out what's going on with the fishing. We're going to go back to the fishing hole. I'm going to try to create some nets. I don't think we have any laying around. We need to get back to doing that. Get our bee situation on the good again. I believe we still have our honeycombs, don't, don't we? We do. They do. We got six. Yeah, so that's good. So if you did enjoy the episode, please throw that like down. If you are not subscribed, you can do it for more episodes in the future. And we'll see you next time with some more Don't Starve. Chuck it poo out. Peace.